Hi again, this is uh, my newest project. You can see it's a uh, CAD drawing that I have put together of uh, sort of like a greenhouse. Um, it's not one you can walk into. It's just a, one that will sit on the south side of the house, have a big clear um, hinged uh, door that you can lift up. I have to figure out how I'm going to get that to, to stay up when we don't want it. It might just be as simple as a board or something that we prop it with but we'll, I'm gonna see um, and uh, this will be eight feet wide uh, it'll be about five and a half feet tall at the tallest point it's about 30 inches at this level um, this is just a side view of it it's showing sort of how I'm gonna do it I still have some tweaking to do but this is pretty close this is the front view here showing the um, the two panels I'm gonna take a double walled um, extruded plastic they sell it at like a Menards and um, cut one four foot cut it in half exactly and then have two separate hinged like windows that can be lifted up here and here um, and then my wife's going to use it for um, early gardening and prep right now we in the past we've always used just our patio door as a like a pseudo greenhouse we've placed um, the plastic enclosures in with plants in there and that worked okay except we had, we ran into some weird issues and stuff um, and then we with, especially with a lot of bugs um, um, we even had one year where my wife put all of the pots of the st seedlings she was starting on our kitchen table which is right next to the patio door and um, we have cats and it just it just doesn't work it was a crazy situation so um, this is my concept we actually did try a greenhouse a couple years ago and that didn't work at all um, we have a lot of wind where we are and the greenhouse literally just twisted apart and blew away and panels were found a mile down the road I swear it's just crazy um, so we said that that's not gonna work I could build a full greenhouse out of wood that was a kit um, and it just uh, wasn't strong enough but uh, I could put something out of wood but I feel like this is a better way to go um, because I don't have to spend a thousand or two thousand dollars um, I figure I could do this for about two hundred dollars in um, green treated lumber and then that uh, double wall extruded um, I think it called it thin wall they call it um, extruded plastic it's clear plastic that I'm going to use so um, it's a concept obviously as I continue building this um, this is just my design to get uh, my my head around what do I need for boards what do I need for um, different materials I actually pulled the material list off it basically would be a bill of materials list right here so I have my uh, the items I'm, I'm going to purchase, my two by fours, this all green treated for this stuff, the thick deck plying. Um, I was thinking thick deck, but now I think I'm going to go with, um, for the, the surface, I think I'm going to go with a 5 eighths ply instead. And then um, take the thick deck only for a uh, perimeter around the top. Um, so just sort of weird. I'm going to do a two by four here and then put the ply down and then put um, standing on edge. The thick deck board um, and to fasten that down and I'll probably rip that one edge of it so it's nice and flat. Um, I'm going to use a 3x4 landscape timbers for the legs because uh, they're ground rated and they're a lot cheaper than uh, 4x4s um, and they'll work fine for legs for supporting this. It's not a deck. deck I would use a 4x4 or even a, a 6x6 or 5x6 or whatever they are. Uh, I've got to get some hinges, some latches, the thin wall, Pro Sky seven foot. So this is the thin, thin wall that I was talking about here. And then I got to do something on the sides and the side opening. Um, I'm thinking maybe a Pro Sky might be the cheaper way to go, but I don't know. I might just buy the uh, two sheets of thin wall and use that. Um, and then I'm gonna line it with black plastic so it absorbs additional sunlight. Um, we stay pretty pretty cold pretty long into the year. So I'm looking at about two hundred eighteen dollars for all that to build it. Um, but obviously if I have ways to make that a little cheaper and I don't have screws in the list because I have five pound boxes of screws laying around that I'll be able to use decking screws that I've got so um, that's my concept and as
as I continue, you'll see uh, I'll post uh, videos as I start building it and uh, see how it goes. Again, give me any feedback. I appreciate it. Thank you.